pregnant with Tiara, our daughter, we went to Lakeview. And, you know, there is some justice with them taking that hospital down, right? With the memories and the post traumatic stress and all that, preaching the doctor, running the track on the side to the building. This is before, before, during the aftermath. aftermath, aftermath. This is my story, don't worry, just pray for me during the aftermath. Before, during the aftermath. aftermath, aftermath. So take notice, so what I'm going through. Don't mean to be rude, but it could happen to you. To see in the beginning, life was good. It's still there, to this day. There's so many memories about that horrible place. Robert punching the doctor running the track on both sides to the building. A lot of people think Hydra has high standards. Oh, right. We care about our patients and their mission statement. No, they don't care. They don't care about money. But what happened here, this should not, this should not be happening. It should, it should not be happening. You also got to have a surgery. And, well, even prior, the week before and the week before, Get everything situated for home because I didn't hurt my husband. I have to stress out. It was love. And of course, I knew, I knew this would happen. No nurse, no supplies, SOL. I'm very picky and I don't like people that I don't like touching me. Like, period. Because I don't know what they're doing. And when it comes to central line, access, pick line, midline, time line, whatever, you have to. But this too, this is not practice. This is negligence. I remember prior to leaving the hospital, I said, are you going to show us how to flesh it? And the nurse was like, oh no, it's fine, it works fine. I'm like, well, I have no supplies. They say not their problem. IR says, we just put them in, you know, like we don't set up the supplies. And, 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 and the right, okay, the right. The IR team kicks ass, and I will give credit to where credit is due. But everybody else, and no, the will kill you. You have to remember to fight for your health, because nobody else will. So now, the tube on the G port, on the gastric port, you can look at my other video, the connecting piece snapped off. So bile and fluids were filling my abdominal cavity last night, and I had to keep trying to pull it out. Into my breath because the fluids are in my lungs now, and now we have to expose ourselves to the zombie apocalypse 19 virus once again due to negligence. Then the bumper that sits on the skin on the GJ it came out. So Robert and I are pretty positive that two things one, the balloon popped, two, that it flipped, and that's why it's filling my abdominal cavity. All I ask is for first, and just share the crap out of everything. This is why I always say, advocate for yourself. Be a voice. If you take anything from this video, it is don't let anyone else dictate your health. If you know something's wrong and it's wrong, go in. If they're not being nice, yell at them, scream at them, gun the blazing. But you have to be strong. You have to advocate. Nobody else is going to advocate for you but yourself or your family or your husband or your caretaker or your wife or whoever. It, this should not be happening. This should not be happening. But it is. You know, negligence. I don't know that I did talk to when calling on the phone because my primary is on vacation and he reads the message saying that GI is supposed to handle it but you know my no my GI said not my responsibility so it's been going in a circle of the telephone game and Tommy and ring around the fucking rosy it's no it's IR's responsibility they're the ones that put it in this is what I was told IR says we just put it in we don't make orders right Then GI says, well, if the surgeon's responsibility, the surgeon put it, IR did. Well, Dr. Andrew Strong, I don't have the answers to your questions. That's so well. Right? So then it's just been in a circle, back and forth, Robert yelling, screaming, telling them, dude, you know, this has been ongoing. So we're like, tell one of the nurses, are you going to give us at least a syringe so you can get give us an irrigating syringe. This surgery on the 16th. And just barely a home health nurse called me a few 
minutes ago and I explained to her I explained to her what was going on and she's like well keep me up daily late dollar short and I just asked for the string for Robert to not uh, go on rogue or me and if you see us on the news you'll know why it's just wrong advocate for yourself because nobody else will Yeah. <laughs>